So hello, hello, Cancer. Welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Bracey, and I'm going to be doing the reading for you today. It is a general message, so take it how it resonates. Energy is fluid, gender is fluid, roles could be reversed. You know, I might be saying um, Cancer, but you know, if you're a cross watcher, I could be speaking directly to you. So like I said, take it how it resonates. Uh, I do use adult language and talk about adult things, so if that's not your thing or you have children around and just don't appreciate it, you know, respectfully, you can speak up now. Otherwise, we're going to get right into it. Cancer. I'm going to use my Barbary Tarot to give you a week-by-week -week breakdown of July and the energies. I'm going to clarify it with my Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And then I'm going to pull uh, some guidance for you at the end with my Lightworker Oracle and a Remember card from my Power of Love deck to help you most effectively and efficiently get through July's energy. All right. Hey, hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey. So, without further ado, Cancerian energy for July. Cancerian energy for July. It's feeling like a heat wave. All right, cancer. There's themes in the energies, guys. Just saying. <laughs> Free shuffle card fallouts. We just got the five of wands in reverse with justice and the page of pentacles in the reverse. So already, um, cancer right off the bat, I feel like you are not internally conflicted about what justice you feel needs to come to a situation in order for it to start off the right way. I think you know exactly what's needed and you're not taking any other options, right? You're not taking any other options. Like, listen, this is the way to fix it. You're like, this is the way to fix it. That's how I'm going to feel like justice has been served and everything's been good. That's what's going to make me feel like we're on a clean slate and we're starting fresh. This is what is required. And it's like not accepting less, right? Nothing, nothing new is going to begin unless cancer gets the justice they feel they deserve. Okay. They are not conflicted about that. Jesus. All right. Clarify week one for me, please. Clarify week two. by week four. All right. Cancer. Week one. July week one. We've got the star card. We've got the Four of Wands in the reverse and the King of Wands. Okay, so week one, Cancer. I feel like your wish come true shows up, however, um, they're not quite in the right headspace as the King of Wands. They might not, they might still have commitment issues. Alright, so even though the wish has showed up, 
and I do feel like it showed up, especially if you're in a twin flame partnership. Um, I feel like right now, the healing that needs to be done, this person's not in the right energy, whatever this is. And it's it might throw you off balance because they're not quite balanced with what is intended. You know what I mean? If you can kind of understand that. Um, it's almost like you're in this divine energy. So I feel like you are presenting more as the star energy cancer. Um, you have your back, right, to the connection because of, because of that surrounding energy of this person, right? The non-commitment. The non-commitment. I think they inspire you. I think there's a lot of passion with this person, a lot of chemistry with this person. But the fact of the matter is, even though it's the wish, your back is kind of to it because that, that energy is still present. That energy is still present. It's confirmed with the no place like home card. We all know how our twins feel like home. But this is the authentic self, right? So you got to be real with yourself. You know that if you're true to who you are and what you feel, that whatever the wish is, is not quite ready, right? It's not presenting as an emperor or anything like that. It is the king of wands. He is the lesser of the four kings. You know, it's, it's hard energy to commit to because they're non-committal. And that might go back to, you know, to, to their own wounding when it comes to certain things, but you're being guided and told to stay true to who you are. And what that wish would look like if it were in the upright. You know what I mean? If this four of wands, this stability within, that balance within was in the upright. Stay true to yourself, right? And what you're feeling and what you're sensing within. Because week two, we get the wheel of fortune in the reverse. With the six of swords in the reverse. With the ten of cups. I think that you know whoever that energy is or whatever that energy is isn't ready. So you're staying true to yourself. However, fate would have it that you might be a little upset after the fact and not be able to move on because they really are your emotional fulfillment and it's going to be real hard. It's going to be really hard, right, to watch to watch it come and go within a week, right? To watch it come and go. And I don't think you realize just how much it was going to affect you. Because you do understand it's the Ten of Cups. It is no place like home. It is emotional fulfillment. It is feeling satisfied and fulfilled with life. And to watch it not be ready after all, whatever, all of whatever, you know, transpired. Um... I think it's, I think it kind of sucks. I think it kind of sucks because you can't move forward from it. You know emotionally, like, at, at the end of the day, like, it's almost like you see this person's, this person's potential and you know and you got to stay true to yourself and that sucks. And that sucks. But it's, you know, it's, it's meant to be that way. Please understand the Wheel of Fortune, even if it's in the reverse, it is meant to be that way. There's a reason even if you can't understand it. And I say that wholeheartedly because it comes out clarified with by the book, the universal law would have it this way in order to balance the scales within this lifetime and others. Like, it's necessary to deny whatever it is. You know, it's necessary to deny it, even though it hurts, in order to help them elevate, right? Because they can't be and, and give that Ten of Cups if they're still in King of Wands energy, right? And they're still presenting as unbalanced within the connection you have with them. So it's an unfortunate, right? It's an unfortunate turn of events where you might have to deny it, even though it's there. And that sucks, but it has, it's just, it's just that way. Okay, so now that you're getting this insight, you can kind of like, all right, I already expect it, right? I already expect it so you're not like so ripped and torn after, right? Always discern, always do as you're guided, you know, despite the fact, 
of anything you hear, right? Just discern what, what resonates with you and what you need to do. But I feel like there's a, a reason why that things are turning out this way. You know, when you're doing as you're guided and you're staying true to yourself and you understand, it's like, okay, you know, I'm dealing with it. You know, it's here. This moment's here. You know what I mean? So just be aware there's, there's a reason for it. Okay. There's a reason. Week three, we get the Ten of Wands with the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Wands in the reverse and truth be told in the reverse. Now, with the Truth Be Told card clarifying it in the reverse, I don't think, and I think this is why, I don't think that King of Wands energy is being completely clear, right? Because this is removing the facade, the mask, the lies to the self, and anybody who's, you know, in a non-committal energy has, you know, things that are healing, and they do tend to, to lie to themselves as self-sabotage and all that stuff. You know, we betray ourselves. We all do. So I feel like because maybe this King of Wands um, energy can't bring the truth out I feel like it's a it's a burden right it's a burden to having this start over and with the knight of the knight of wands in the reverse with the way these cards are set I feel like it's become too much of a burden on you to actually start fresh with this person knowing that that wands energy is still unhealed right because when they don't get what they want, maybe they even drop from the King of Wands to the Knight of Wands, and now they're just trying to turn on Reckless Charm, you know, doing everything and anything they can say, do, or they get pissed off and they don't care what they're saying, you know, and they, they switch on a dime, and it's like, wow, thank you for confirming to me why I rejected you in the first place. Like, they become more distasteful, you know? and it can't get off the ground. It's like now this energy is a burden. It's a burden now because whatever it is, it, they're, it's not, someone's not being real with themselves. Someone is not being real with themselves. And I think maybe they are expecting too much of someone else. Um, as far as accepting their behavior and their flaws because the king of wands too, like he's a partier. They're a go out, have fun, you know, like kind of personality. And maybe that doesn't fly. You know, maybe when that person goes out or they indulge, they're not pleasant and it becomes a burden, right? It becomes a burden that keeps any real love from starting. They're negative patterns, right? It's negative patterns. That's why the stability is upside down. This person is not balanced within the self. We have someone who is shining and presenting as the star, as a healer, and someone who's presenting as the king of wands, which is keeping the connection between them out of balance. It's keeping them out of balance. It's keeping them disconnected from the very beginning. So by the end of the month, you know, cancer, you go into this week two where you can't walk away because you know, and at the same time, there's a lot of, you know what I mean, bullshit burden, you know, emotionally that you're dealing with because you can't seem to let it go. Like it showed up and it completely shook everything and you're tempted to start over, right? Week four, we get the devil with the ace of pentacles. So we do get a tempting offer to be stable, right? And move forward with a stable beginning. However, it's the devil that's presenting the, the new start. It's the devil presenting the Ace of Pentacles. In Cancer, that's where you show up with the chariot and we get milk and honey in reversed. Listen, milk and honey is about all the sweet things in life all the best things this is the dream come true this is life is fucking good and it's in the reverse this devil energy whatever that king of wands is might offer you exactly what you want 
They might offer you exactly what you want, that you might move forward on it with the chariot. Like, fuck yeah, it finally clicked. However, where it's coming from, it's fear-based. They feel like they have to in order to get it, and they're scared. They're scared if they don't offer it, they're going to lose you completely. So even though they're offering you what you, they, what you want, possibly, even though they might be offering you exactly what you want, they're offering it to you out of fear and like tracks like. It has to be set on the right foundation because the universe is working according to universal law. If they're afraid of losing you, then they don't trust themselves with keeping you. They don't trust themselves. And that's a huge red flag. That's why people do not commit. The King of Wands does not commit because he does not trust himself to not fuck it up and go back to his king ways, the partier ways, the King of Wands ways. He doesn't trust himself not to fuck it up. So know that you might get exactly what you asked for and it might seem awesome, but you know they're offering it to you because they're afraid of losing you. Just know where that comes from. The deservingness, the worthiness, the worthiness, the self-trust, that those are not devil qualities. I think they're doing it because maybe they feel they have to in order to get somewhere with it. But they haven't necessarily done the healing behind the offer yet. Just know that. Alright. Lightworker Oracle. Guidance for Cancers. Guidance for Cancers. What card above all other cards? Does Cancer need to get through the month of July? Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Woke up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds sat by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true. Saying, This is my message to you. <laughs> Trust in the plan, divine grace is present. With the law of efficiency. When you stay true to yourself, cancer. When you stay aligned with your highest vibration of self-love, which is completely healing in its ripple. And you trust in the plan and you trust what you sense because that's a big part of this, cancer. You're sensing things. If you cannot get ahead of yourself, And really use that feeling of yours that you trust that if something's not aligned and, and the whole truth isn't there and there's fear, you know, forming things and you trust what you know from experience, fear manifests, that you're not going to go there and open yourself up to that and you trust in the plan, Everything will work out in the most effective and efficient way possible, as fast as possible. It still takes time, but it's faith and certainty. It's faith and certainty that when you let the divine shine light on you and you confidently move forward with what you're sensing, everything does work out perfectly better than you think. So trust as much as you can't move on because you know this is your ten of cups you know you can't move on because it's your ten of cups I think you know what you still have to do so trust the process trust the plan all right and remember no matter what right no matter what 
you want to get through this as effective and efficient as possible, what can you remember? Evolution. Realize that obstacles are merely lessons on the path to love. Everybody's learning. This is major, major heart chakra energy. The king of wands is evolving with the healing energy of the star presented at the beginning of the month. The strength of that. Remember, evolution is the purpose. We are all meant to upgrade energetically. We are all meant to learn lessons. And these obstacles that we face... Every time we overcome an obstacle, we prove to ourselves our strength. Don't forget that the strength within yourself is also the strength you bring to future connections. You're only getting stronger and offering more every time you overcome an obstacle. You're only improving. <clears throat> so I hope that helps. Remember the purpose is to evolve. And with that said, <clears throat> I have a tickle in my throat. I'm going to let y'all go. If anybody needs or wants more information or insight throughout the month, I am going to be doing the Zodiac groups, my extended here on Facebook. Um, this will eventually be up on YouTube for you. I hope you guys check out all the signs. I hope the replay helps. Um, I know that when you go back and look at it, you know, like halfway through the month, um, everything starts to ring a bell. Just know too, guys, that everything that comes out in the cards, you're in control of your path at all times. So if you don't like the way something is presenting, you know, the projected path, it's within your power to change it. You know, whether you are a sign or you're cross watching for another sign, like it's always within your power. You have the ability to write your own story and... You know, if this is what is most probable, then you can do the impossible and push yourself out of energetic comfort zones and really, you know, either come the way you need to come or detach the way you need to detach in order to continue, you know what I mean? Because you can already anticipate the energies and sights priceless. You know, use it to your advantage. Um, and in the meantime, guys, love and light. Love each other. Love, love yourselves. Until next time. Bye, guys.